Stephen A. Smith, I'm looking at you. This is your pick to get to the finals. How confident are you now? Uh, <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, How's that uh, trade working yeah. out? Those four guys they got. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let me say this. This is not a good day to be somebody who proclaimed that the Cavs would come out of the East because uh, they have LeBron James. This is not a good morning for that. I have to eat crow on this particular day all day long because if the Cavs look like this, they've got no chance. They ain't getting out of the first round. They looked absolutely pathetic. I mean, the starters on the team, I'm confused, though. I'm struggling, Max, between trying to figure out whether or not the rest of the starters owe LeBron James an apology or is LeBron James to blame because he came out so lethargic, not even attempting a shot in the first quarter? I'm here in Houston. I go into both locker rooms last night after the game, and rather than guys talking to me about the game, one of the first things they asked me is, what the hell was wrong with LeBron? Where, where, I mean, what happened? That's literally what they were asking me because – Folks couldn't believe that he didn't attempt a shot in the first quarter. They couldn't believe how lethargic he appeared at the on, uh, at the outset. Me, personally, I don't blame him. I just think that it was one of those situations where other guys didn't step up. Kevin Love was relatively anemic. Jeff Green, it might have been the worst performance of his career. And he's been in the league a while. I've never seen this guy <laughs> look this bad. And I love me some Jeff Green, but 0 for 7 from the field, just couldn't buy a basket. It got to the point where he was on the floor. It was 4 on 5 basketball. They were barely even guarding him. They were daring him to shoot because he couldn't buy a basket to save his life. JR came on in the fourth quarter, but it was too little too late. And Victor Oladipo was clearly the best player on the court yesterday. He has arrived. He has put everybody on notice that he is a star in this league. He is not to be ignored. He is the number one option on the Indiana Pacers. You know that he's the man. And no matter what kind of run Cleveland made when they were down by 23 and cut it to eight and all of this other stuff, it was Oladipo that was like, calm down, calm down. It's going to be just fine because I can get my shot when I want how I want against whomever I damn well please. That was his mentality last night. I give him all the credit in the world. Got to give some love to Lance Stevenson for being the heckler that he is and being the pest that he is. Not scared at all about LeBron James, even though a couple of cheap fouls, he looked like a cheap shot artist. But nevertheless, he's getting at LeBron James. Miles Turner uh, showed up and produced off, uh, you know, off the court. I mean, on the court, rather, obviously, uh, contributed his 16 points. But in the end, it was the Victor O. Oladipo show. He was the best player on the court and the best player in the world got outshined by a guy that has put us all on notice that he has arrived in Victor Oladipo. That's really what this comes down to along with the anemic performance by the rest of the starters around LeBron James.